Well, good day to all you Faf fans. Another episode of Uncle Creepy. What have, what have we got uh, today? We have a Faf Creative Model 1473 CD. Now, what's interesting about this machine is this is a machine that was produced after the Model 1471. It's essentially an upgrade. There's uh, some good stuff that uh, came about with this model. Uh, one is this machine was actually produced in the first quarter of 1989. Uh, serial number is 33142839. Uh, what's interesting about this machine is it says down here in fine print made by Pfaff in West Germany. Um, Roughly nine months probably after this machine was produced, the Berlin Wall came down. And they began letting, the government began letting people through in November of 1989. So, uh, on the next model run, which was a model 1475, you'll see that the uh, fine print drops the word West. And it just says, made by Pfaff in Germany. So this is a uh, historic piece, I guess. Um, what I'm going to do, and this came to us from uh, a customer in Florida, in the great state of Florida, where they make uh, uh, oranges and stuff, and Disney and stuff. Um, the customer has left a little note as to what the problem is. What I'm going to do is just look the machine over first and what I see first here is uh, the customers added some LED strip here and added some wiring. This looks okay. Uh, if you're going to attach things to the machine you want to remember that at some point the machine is going to have to come apart. Now in our case our cleaning um, method will probably eliminate that uh, LED. The, the, the tape would come off so we're going to just spot clean this one so we don't damage the customer's installation there. Um, the first thing that I do, well first I probably should explain the CD. Okay, the, the CD stands for Creative Designer. That's this box here. This came with the machine and it plugs in over here on the end and there's a graph paper that goes in here and it allows you to program stitches into the machine make up your own stitches and incorporate them into the machine and into a memory which brings by another point this machine has batteries um, I'm going to plug the machine in and First thing I'm going to do is take the needle out. Remove the needle, dispose of it. Um, now I turn the machine on. Turn it a little bit. This machine is turning very tight. Uh, way too tight for it to be uh, used like that. So I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. What we should see happen, lights come up here, light on the end, the needle bar will move and then center, the feed dog will move and center, and we'll see what happens. I'll lift the presser foot up. Okay, I don't have a light. Uh, bulbs probably burned out. Uh, in the display I have the word battery, batteria, pile, those are languages. Um, what I'm going to do now is ch unplug it and check the batteries. In these machines, oftentimes the batteries are overlooked. In this case, there are no batteries. So, that's good because there's no damage here. There's no uh, leaky battery acid in here and that can get out to your circuit board which is housed in here. Once that happens, you could be in trouble. So, the complaint from the customer is the bobbin does not work. I'm not quite sure what she means by that. But, Number two is bought you six years ago, had it clean, did not do a good job, please clean. We can do that. Number three, please re replace or repair parts that seem to fail often. We can do that. Uh, number four is 
Please recondition entire machine. Want to use it for another 25 years. Ah, that's a tall order, 25 years. Uh, but we're going to do what we can. Number five is rewinder and the foot control does not work. Okay, well, this is the foot control that was sent in. And this particular control didn't have a rewinder. They did have, this machine did have a foot control with a rewinder, but this has probably been replaced. And the customer says she bought it six years ago. Um, so the foot control may have been replaced before then. Uh, in any case, that we can't do. Uh, that part is no longer available new. Uh, so, uh, from this point on, what I'm going to do now is to begin to take the machine apart. We'll determine what exactly it needs, um, contact the customer, and see if she wants it repaired. If you have these machines and you don't want them, let us know. We'll buy them. We need the parts. Uh, if you would like one, we can build them from scratch, any model you want, uh, roughly from the 1200 series, which is 1969, up through 1999. Um, if you have one that's not working right, uh, we'd be happy to fix it up for you. So just email us and let us know what you got.